CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. Well, there's the mountain we're going up. It certainly uh, looks like it charted, as you can see here on the map. Uh, this side is pretty much sheer cliffs. This and kind of to the north, there's that bump, uh, t excuse me, to the south. Uh, there's a bump to the south, uh, as you can see it's charted. So when I was looking at the charts, I created a couple ways. One is up that ridge, which Dale and I both knew we'd kind of have to wait till we got up here to see what things look like. So we're probably going to take the blue line, just kind of uh, my alternate route as I started looking at it closer. Um, it's one of those mountains that you kind of come up to and you say, well, we'll see how how, uh, how it looks and we'll choose a route from there. Um, they must have had a huge uh, gully washer come through here yesterday because the ground is really soft, a lot of mud out here, so that should make it a little bit more interesting. So anyway, we're gonna get back in the pickup and we'll take a look at it. Well, Dale, now that you've seen it, <laughs> What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be interesting one way or another. <laughs> Hello there, buddy. A lot more bark than bite over here. Well, we've made some new friends here. There's a ranch right over here. We think if we stay on the on this side of this fence, we'll continue to be on public property, not private. That's the hope. If we see him out here. We'll we'll ask him. Make sure we're okay. These guys seem like they're pretty friendly. So, that guy looks pretty friendly, although I don't get too close to him, he might bite. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whose idea again was this? Yeah, we'll see if this is such a good idea. As uh, K6ARK Adam would say, getting to the top is optional, getting back to the truck is mandatory. This is kind of interesting because uh, we're walking through all this sand, uh, sandy soil in here. It's been raining. They got this big sandstone cliff structure in here. Really oh. interesting. Then you got the a different structure over here. Looks like loose. Uh, I don't know, maybe volcanic or something up there. But uh, yeah. Looked a lot easier on paper. Yeah. <laughs> <I still don't. laughs> well, this here fell on the ground and he just picked it up and he started carrying it. <laughs> oh, he carried off your phone? No, That's my, a, my stick. Here. Oh, well trained dog. Yeah. All right, so here's a question. Your dog comes back with somebody's hiking stick and then you start wondering, well, where did they leave the rest of the Where's hiker? The hiker, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These guys are friendly though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're friendly. Okay, this is turning out to be a bit of a challenge. Um, we're getting into more chaparral in here, but it's all nav navigable, but we're trying to figure out how to get up that thing um, and what the easiest face is going to be given our skills. We'll do, it looks like it's definitely zigzagable. Nothing that's beyond, I don't know, was it class three where you have to get on your hands and knees? Just we don't, hey, I'm not trained and um, capable of using anything be on hands and feet so no gear for us but so we're gonna you know if we can't do it we can't do it so we'll see all right we just completed the meeting we think we're gonna go up to this ridge or work our way up toward it there looks like there's almost a trail but we can do a direct attack just real slow the soil has really good purchase um, and it's a little bit damp and spongy, so it's kind of enjoyable from that respect. And I haven't heard, haven't heard big guy. He hasn't complained once. I'm too tired to complain. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's the secret. Wear us out and we can stop bitching. <laughs> All right, let's get cracking. Okay, class three. 
Yeah, go straight ahead and then come up. It looked like a bear. It is a bear. But I think we found the right path up this little, see on this side of that ridge, there's enough rocks in there to get purchased. Great views from up here. So, here comes the Arizona mountain goat. Wow. Can you give me a bat? <laughs> <Not sure. laughs> Look at these two goofballs. They followed us all the way up from that ranch down there. They're digging through here and eating everything like my dog. They're skinny. They are skinny fellas. They look healthy though. Yeah. They're friendly enough, they haven't eaten us yet. They're probably waiting for us to keel over and then they'll have a good meal. <laughs> Scavengers. Yeah. I'm a little bit fatter than Dale, so they'll have good eating on me. You know you're doing it right when you see a little bit of daylight up there, sky. Yeah. Crikey. Oh, crap. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, we were lulled into thinking we were almost there. I think we're in the AZ, so I could quit at any time, but I'd like to get up there. Let's see what we can do. All right, I'm not going to lie to you. Two things. One, this is a pain in the ass to get up to. One of the more difficult ones I've done in a while. Um, and anyway, got up here, got activated, forgot to hook up the uh, recorder. I was banging away up here, so we'll hook that up so you can hear what's going on. We got activated on 30 so far, and uh, we'll see if we can't get some other bands going here. Oh. But yeah, it was a, a lot of tactics and screwing around trying to figure out how to get up here with uh, Dale. So, definitely need your speed goats to get up here. <laughs> anyway, um, antenna set up here is a little bit funky. Let me go to a plan B here. Stick this thing on here. Give me a little bit better setup for the radio. Uh, start the recorder up so you can hear, and we'll make a few contacts.
I got about oh 20 contacts and uh, roughly 20 and seven summit to summits or something like that. And you got 40. Yeah, about the same, about the same seven summit to summits. Yeah, and about 40 contacts. Yeah. Um, yeah. One day. He has advantage over me because you know he keeps he keeps working the radio while I'm out screwing around with the drone. <laughs> so hopefully you enjoyed those shots. This is a really uh, this is a tough one. So I want to make sure I got a picture of kind of the layout of this thing because it's just a big. There's cliffs on three sides, and we're basically hopefully descending down the correct the correct side here that doesn't have cliffs, um, and then down onto that ridge. So off we go. All right, Dale. If you go down, the good thing is I'll have it on video. <laughs> It's kind of steep and loose rocky in here, so we're taking our time. This one little descent here. Looks like uh, Dale's going to go down on his ass. Four-wheel drive. <laughs> yeah, four-wheel drive. So, but once we're off this one little stretch here, then it'll be good. And we're going to take a little bit different route on the way back, we think. We'll try it. That way we can recon the uh, another route up. Trick will be trying to stay off that private property over there. All right. All right, back at the pickup, we were starting to wonder whether we were able to do that or not. Um, and that was kind of a, a difficult a, descent. That's a loose rock and yeah, steep. Yeah, it's very steep. <laughs> it's a good we just challenge for today, though. Took yeah. our time. Yeah. Um, we just talked to the folks that live up there, and evidently you can drive right through in front of their house but it's all it really looks like private property and i think we did the right thing anyway yeah parking out here but uh beautiful afternoon we got very lucky in that uh, we got some nice overcast it's kind of cool right now it's probably what do you figure 70 yeah, 75 i mean 75 yeah um uh, just perfect um without the overcast it would have been in 85 or so yeah. <laughs> a little bit more miserable but yeah Great hike. Yeah. First activation. <laughs> I'm um, I'm good with that. Yeah. So yeah, F A. <laughs> All right. We see why too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now we know. Now we know why that thing wasn't activated. So that was a bit. Uh, it's a challenge, but yeah, that's what's fun about it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We accomplished something, and I don't think I left any blood up there. That's kind of first for me. <laughs> that's another first. <laughs> All right. Shot of that rock back there. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of these. So with that, I'm going to send you into the credits. If you want to learn more about doing the hobby, go to hamninja.com slash SOTA360. There's a bunch of other resources out uh, on hamninja.com, but that video series is a four-part series on how to activate. And there's some other ones on how to chase and some other good stuff out there. And if you want to see my ego get even bigger, and who doesn't want to see that? Hit the like and subscribe. Thanks guys, until next time, 73.